guys, so I'm trying to find the right areas to record videos. It's kind of hard right now. Again, we're in the process of moving and it's really just, we have like no space here. So I'm trying to find like the right areas to record. I'm in my backyard. There's a AC unit thing that might turn on and get loud. So I'm sorry if that happens. I will try to talk louder. But I thought I'd come on here today and make a video for you all about how and about getting a zoology degree. I did a little poll on Instagram and it seems like you guys wanted to hear about that first. So let's get into it. The degree that I have is a Bachelor's of Science in Biology concentrated in zoology. So instead of me doing a minor through my program, I had a degree that was concentrated in zoology. So all of my electives pretty much that got taken up were all biology oriented, so biology types of classes. What I did, because I didn't have a whole lot of financial support, I had to do my associate's degree at the local state college and then I transferred in. This was actually a huge blessing for me because I was able to really, really thrive at the state college because it is a lot less challenging than the university and a lot cheaper. If I was able to do my whole degree there, I probably would have. So what I was able to do is work my butt off during my associate's degree and get straight A's and this allowed me to get two scholarships when I transferred into the university. So I did my associate's degree at Palm Beach State College down here in Florida and then I transferred in to Palm Beach Atlantic University in West Palm Beach, Florida. Now, the program that you take is going to be dependent on what school you're going to. The school that I went to when I transferred into a university was a private Christian college, so there were some required classes that I had to take that were outside of my program. So again, it will depend on the specific school you're going to. So the school that I went to was Palm Beach Atlantic University in West Palm Beach, Florida. Absolutely amazing institution. I met some of the most incredible people professors and everyone in between that I met there is full of just love and light and it's just a different experience. You're not going to get the typical party scene at this school, but I think it offers a whole lot more. So yeah, shout out to PBA, PBA alumni, Sailfish, Sailfish. I also got great opportunities at PBA working alongside a professor. So this gave me wonderful experience working with a real scientific team. It helps my resume and it's something I would always recommend you do if you're in school. Try to partner up with a professor, get some research under your belt, get some experience working in a lab. Now keep in mind that a zoology degree is a biology degree and a biology degree is the degree that students complete when they want to go to medical school or they want to go to veterinary school after they complete their undergrad. So it's very challenging. It's a very, very challenging degree. And it's gonna take a lot of time, a lot of effort, not a whole lot of social life, and a lot of discomfort. Because going from a state college that was relatively easy compared to the university, you just have four grades in a class. You have four exams, and that's it. And it's extremely expensive. So don't complete or attempt this degree if you're not sure if it's something you really love and really want to dedicate your life to because it's going to be expensive, it's going to be extremely challenging, and it'll probably cause you a bit of stress. Again, if it was easy, everyone would be doing it. These classes are designed to weed people out who can't handle it because we don't want people becoming doctors and veterinarians who can't pass chemistry. So it's very challenging. They're designed to be that way. Although it depends on what school you attend, I'm going to give you some of the basic classes that I think anybody would have to take, especially if you're going to a university in the United States. Outside of the United States, I have no idea how it really works, so that's kind of where I'm speaking from. But I know for a fact you're gonna to have to take Biology 1, Biology 2, any of those basic intro classes that you have to do the first year, like speech. You're gonna to have to take a couple like basic psychology classes. I chose sociology. It's pretty interesting, but this was just requirements. They like you to be well-rounded. You know, the first couple years, you're gonna be doing the basics, and then the third and fourth year, you're gonna be doing the really challenging classes. So you're definitely gonna to have to take biology one, biology two, which are the principles of biology, which are the classes that the people who have biology majors are taking. You're gonna to have to take General Chemistry 1, General Chemistry 2, and then if you wanna continue on to grad school, you're definitely gonna to have to take Organic Chemistry 1 and Organic Chemistry 2. You're also gonna to have to take all of the basic math classes. I went up to Calculus, but I would highly recommend you take a Statistics class if you're doing a Biology degree, because I didn't, and I really struggled when it came to some of my other classes, because science has a lot of math in it, so when I took Ecology, when I took Field Biology, I struggled, because I wasn't very versed in Statistics. 
I had to learn kind of on the spot and it was challenging. So you can save yourself that trouble, take it in high school, take all these classes in high school if you can and if you want to complete a zoology bachelor's degree. Some of the other classes I had to take were vertebrate zoology, invertebrate zoology, comparative vertebrate physiology, which was very challenging but one of my favorite classes. I also had to take comparative vertebrate embryology, which was very challenging but also very, very interesting. I had to take botany, I had to take field biology, ecology, couple microbiology classes. Also really want to think about when you transfer into the school if they're going to accept those classes you've taken. So make sure you talk to your advisors, make sure you outsource as much as possible and talk to the people that you need to talk to. I had to take cell biology twice actually. The first time I attempted that class was the very first semester I transferred into the new university and I was really, really struggling so I had to drop the class otherwise I would have 100% failed it. So don't be scared to drop a class if you're doing really poorly. It's better than getting an F on your transcript and bringing your GPA really low. Again, if you're interested in veterinary school and grad school, you're going to have to keep that GPA extremely high because it's very, very competitive. Again, depending on the school that you go to, you're going to have a variety of electives you're going to be able to take, but when you're doing a specialized zoology degree, all of those elective spaces are going to be biology classes. So different branches of biology, sometimes you get to choose those. And again, they're pretty challenging. It's not an easy degree. It's not something that's going to be easy. You're going to have to do a lot of studying. I am not the most math-oriented person, but I was in that tutoring session every single day to get my grades right. So don't be scared. You're going to have to study a lot. You're going to probably have to do study groups. You're going to probably have to go to tutoring. When you go to the universities in the United States, it's about testing. Okay? These classes are designed to test you and designed to weed out those who can't handle it. So keep that in mind. It's going to require a lot of effort, a lot of self-discipline, a lot of good friends, and a lot of personal management when it comes to your time depending if you have to work like I did but if I can do it someone who is a working single mom you can absolutely do it too so just look for the resources that you have outreach to the school you want to go to talk to people who've done it before and again I know a lot of my colleagues they don't have animal degrees they don't have biology degrees so keep in mind that all of my hands-on animal experience or at least the majority of it has been completely separated from my academics it was time I put in myself, volunteering, outsourcing, networking, myself. It had nothing to do with my school. So you can work hands-on with animals without a degree. But I think it does prioritize you against other candidates, especially in this very competitive industry. So these are just some of the basics when it comes to getting a zoology bachelor's degree like I did. This is my personal experience and I hope that some of this helps you guys out there or it helps anyone who's considering starting college with that program in mind. I would say 100% know what you want to do with it because it's going to be extremely challenging to find a job once you graduate. Just look at what happened to me. I wasn't really able to find a job that was financially realistic, that would support my life and family the way I needed to. So now I'm a public school teacher because that's something I was able to do with my degree here in Florida. So definitely consider all of these things. I wish somebody maybe would have told me that before I started my degree, or it would have been helpful. I would have done the degree anyway, but it definitely would have helped me a bit. Just keep working hard. It seems like it'll take forever. It does take four years, which is a lot of time, but if it was easy, everyone would be doing it. And I feel like in the United States especially, we have so much opportunity. We have one of the best education systems in the world. And there's so many, so many out there that are dying for the opportunities that we have. So take those opportunities and run with them, especially if this is your passion. I really enjoyed school because it kept my mind occupied it forced me to have a schedule I'm a type of person that really needs to have a schedule given because if it's up to me I just stay with my turtles stay in my bed whatever so it's definitely something you have to think about a lot of different things going to school is a very big deal once you accomplish it you feel amazing once you're done it's amazing and if you can continue and you are academically inclined enough to become a veterinarian or complete a master's program, absolutely go for it. You know, we need more people out there fighting the good fight, doing all the good work. So I hope this helps somebody out there who is thinking about it. And I hope my experience brings something to you. 
and I hope you guys enjoyed it. So thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Still feels weird kind of saying that, but I was told you have to say it. All the YouTubers say it. So yeah, thanks for checking out this video and I will be back next time for another one for you guys. Thanks and talk to you later.